Aloha and welcome to Lillian's Vegan World, the show where we talk about veganism and the plant-based diet. I'm coming live to you here at the downtown studio in gorgeous Honolulu at uh, Think Tech Hawaii. Thank you so much, Think Tech Hawaii, from, for an awesome year. I've in, absolutely enjoyed all the shows I've done here and can't wait for another exciting year and be, be part again of the uh, Think Tech Hawaii team of hosts. So looking forward to an awesome 2020. Today, I'm actually having my last show for this year and I'm very, very, very excited <laughs> to have on Anshi Howitz. Yes, yes. Yes, from the uh, Aloha Animal Sanctuary. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you for having the show. me. And yeah. uh, so lovely meeting you for the first time today. Yes. <laughs> Do you know what, Anshi, I did interview, um, I did have on my show another one of your uh, co Jessica. Yes, Jessica, yes. who is gorgeous. And I see Hannah. Oh yeah, Hannah Mizuno. M Mizuno. Uh, All three of you are like just adorable and so, <laughs> so attractive. Oh yeah. I, I mean, again, must, must have something to do with the vegan diet and lifestyle, I'm I think sure. So, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, you guys are just adorable. Yeah. Welcome to the show. Thank you. <laughs> and yes, I'm really lucky to have Jessica and Hannah on my team. And uh, they're wonderful women to work with um, running. Uh, Aloha Animal Sanctuary. I'm sure they are. Look, tell us all about it, the Aloha Animal Sanctuary. We did talk about it a few months ago, but do yeah. please fill us in on what it is and what you do there. Exactly. So we are Oahu's first uh, 501c3 nonprofit farmed mm -hmm. animal sanctuary. Okay. So we rescue uh, farmed animals specifically like goats, pigs, mm -hmm. uh, chickens, ducks, um, animals that are in a maybe in a case of neglect mm -hmm. or are on their way to slaughter um, or being abused. So mm -hmm. we've um, we're contacted all of the time or reached out to about these situations. Uh -huh. So we rescue these farmed animals, bring them in, and they live out their forever life at the sanctuary. That is yeah. just so amazing. Like um, I do follow your Facebook page, and every time I see photos of the animals, it just it's so heartwarming you know what you guys do is incredible and we do have to remember this is a non-profit so mm -hmm. you do rely on donations yes definitely yes. we're um i think all of our success that we've had and we are really new we just mm -hmm. uh, started as of january 1st i know <laughs> this so year. it's only been yes. your, in your first year and already so much success and you've yeah. saved so many lives definitely it's a uh, Pretty amazing the journey that we've been on mm -hmm. uh, and I always think it's so cool this year is the year of the pig and January 1st we marked our the beginning of the sanctuary uh -huh. with bringing Haku the pig uh, he's a 600 pound pig he's into gorgeous. the sanctuary oh, no. um, such yes. a sweetie but it's a huge community effort so not only with mm -hmm. like financial donations yep. really is what we uh, how we're able to run the sanctuary mm -hmm. but also we have an amazing like 50 over 50 caretaker volunteers wow. who come every week to help us run the sanctuary mm -hmm. and then other volunteers that help us do things like creating merchandise mm -hmm. uh, our website graphic design so it's really a testament to just some community that's really passionate and yeah. dedicated here on yeah. oahu that is so. awesome um i see you know places like this in hawaii people are just so um so tight-knit aren't they you guys get this job done it must be so hard to do this and you know, saving one, saving all these animals one at a time. I'm sure there must be some that you can't yeah, bring on. Like, definitely. so you, so you, we really need to get some funding <laughs> in and push for those donations. So definitely, the hardest part is um, having to say no sometimes. Yeah, and uh, and it's just because we want to grow the sanctuary mm -hmm. sustainable, uh, you know, sustainably and sure, be a long-lasting yeah. uh, organization. Mm -hmm. Uh, so, and every animal we take in, like I said, is with us forever. Yeah. So we always want to be able to provide that quality care um, and exceptional life. So yes, definitely we need help, uh, okay. you know, help with volunteers, helping uh -huh. us grow as we continue on um, into our second year. Yes. So. <laughs> yeah. Well, tell us how we can be a part of this. Yeah, so there's a lot of different ways. Mm -hmm. um, everything from being a volunteer, so you can People can sign up for a volunteer list mm -hmm. through our website and then get notified about different, we have community volunteer days. Um, okay. We're actually having one this Sunday. 
um, right. or becoming part of our or like our weekly caretaker um, team or donating. We're actually doing a special uh, kind of sponsorship for animals during mm -hmm. the holidays. It's a one-time donation mm -hmm. and you receive like a holiday adoption certificate. Aww. So I think it's a really cute idea for a gift mm -hmm. for you know Christmas, the holiday time. Yeah. Um, for those animal lovers in people's lives. Definitely. <laughs> yeah. um, the website, what is the website? Oh, yes, it's uh, www.alohasanctuary.org. Okay. And then on the website, you can learn all about the animals, mm -hmm. about our mission, and it also talks about all the different ways you can donate, mm -hmm. via, whether it's sponsoring an animal or doing a different kind of one-time donation, becoming a Patreon member. Okay. Uh, so there's all different ways to help us at the sanctuary. Awesome. So get um, get on that website and uh, show some of that Christmas spirit, definitely, because it is for a really worthy cause. <laughs> and you are also on Facebook. I love your Facebook we page. We are, yeah. We're are on, you on Instagram? Yes. Actually? Okay. Um, we're on Instagram, Aloha Animal Sanctuary. Uh, also on Facebook, you can just find us or a name. Mm -hmm. And yeah, what's um, bad about just looking at a lot of cute photos of animals? <laughs> Yes. So, uh, yeah, it's, yeah, it's a fun kind way of, to follow us. It's the highlight of my um, scroll, actually. <laughs> <laughs> um, speaking of photos, Angie, yeah. you have prepared some for us. So let's take a, let, yeah. let's take a look at some of the things that you've um, brought in for us today. This is a photo. Oh, look at how adorable. This is a photo yeah. of? This is uh, Vaipuna. So she's one of our newest members at the sanctuary. Uh, she's currently being fostered outside because she's still being bottle fed. But in the next two weeks, she'll come to the sanctuary. What kind of animal? Oh, she's a goat. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And yeah, she's a baby goat. Mm -hmm. We rescued her when she was only about a week. Oh, wow. Or two weeks old. We're not quite sure. Uh -huh. But she was so young. Um, we think that she had been stolen from her mom in the wild. Um, okay. Her and her siblings, and then mm -hmm. she was being sold on Craigslist. Oh, no. um, but luckily, somebody reached mm -hmm. out to us who yeah. saw her on Craigslist, and mm -hmm. they had already rescued her from mm -hmm. that situation. But then, you know, not many people have the facilities to right. just have a goat, right? Yeah. And especially a baby goat mm -hmm. uh, is a lot being bottle fed like every two hours. Wow. But luckily, one of our powerhouse volunteers, Brian Heithouse, mm -hmm. who's our garden leader as well, stepped up and he's being the most amazing foster goat oh, dad. Wow. <laughs> awesome job, Brian. Yeah. Um, that's incredible. It's, oh God, it's heartbreaking to think about some of the things these animals go through. But look, you've got the sanctuary, they're, they're taken care of there, they have, yeah. you know, beautiful lives there and we can all be a part of this. That's yes, the very definitely. important thing. Adorable. What did you say the name of the goat was? Oh, Vaipuna. Vaipuna. What does that yeah, mean? Mm -hmm. um, so two of our volunteers gave mm -hmm. her this name, and I've been told it means spring water that shines like the moonlight. Oh, <laughs> yeah. How oh, adorable. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> yeah, she's really, really adorable. She's still only about like this big. Yeah, it must be small. But she, when I... she came to us, she was like this big. Oh, <laughs> so wow. she's already like, um, you know, quadrupled in size. Thriving and <laughs> yes. having fun and getting big. And she'll big. be at the sanctuary probably in about two to three weeks. Uh -huh. So are, are goats people happy? Like do they, do they, like, do, being around do they people? like being around people? Well, I, I must I, say I've never been yeah. around a goat to be honest. I know. So I think they, it depends probably how they're raised and mm. what they're used to, but mm -hmm. she definitely is very attached to Brian. <laughs> must her, be, yeah. Her goat okay. dad. Her so they're daddy, always yeah. together. And oh, she's no. been accustomed because he's been taking care of her to mm -hmm. going into different like social situations yeah. with people. Okay. So they're not the same as like, uh, or at least from my experience with her, mm -hmm. as like a dog or, you know, she just like runs up to everyone. Okay. But um, she seems to do well. Okay. Yeah. And how do they, how do the animals get along with each other? Like, are they yeah. living in sort of separate homes or how does it all work yeah they do that's and that's an interesting part of it is that not everyone always gets along <laughs> yeah well, yeah so you mm -hmm. have to you do have to see who will thrive with each other okay so for example Haku and Eleanor they're both our larger pigs they're about mm -hmm. 600 pounds wow. uh, they're BFFs best Aww, friends forever so and cute. they love and they share an area and they love to be together um, but uh, we have Charlotte and Yoru, who are smaller pigs. Okay. Uh, Charlotte will get to be about 600 pounds, but she's still very young, so okay. she's growing. 
She might be about 150, 150 pounds right now. Okay. Um, but she, we found that we tried to introduce her to Haku and mm -hmm. Eleanor, and they never really accepted her into okay. their little pack. Maybe that will change in the future, mm. but for now, we have separated them, so Charlotte and Yoru, they're, and they get along great. Yoru's another pig, okay. uh, so they um, are in a separate area. Uh -huh. So, yeah, you definitely have to observe the yes. animals and see, just like people, not yeah. everyone. Yeah, sure. It must be, it must be interesting to see the interaction between <laughs> yeah. um, the animals themselves. Let's have a look at another one, Angie, that you've got for yeah. us. <laughs> Yeah. Is that a little scarf or muffler or something? <laughs> it's a little scarf on a our duck. And then that's Duckley with his looking like a little angel with his wings raised. <laughs> How cute. So you've got two ducks there? Uh, we have this, or... Yes, we actually have five ducks total. Okay. But these are two. Um, the other three ducks, like we talked about, not everyone gets along. Mm -hmm. So they're in a separate enclosure. Okay. They do better. Um, Duckley and Fern, though, <laughs> are together. Yeah, uh -huh. and uh, that was for a little holiday kind of photo so shoot that we did cute. for the animals. So, what, what what do you feed ducks? Yeah, um, well, it's a combination of different like seeds and grains. But okay. we go to the like uh, farm supply store, yeah. and they kind of point us in the right direction. Okay. Of, yeah, so they have like an organic mm -hmm. uh, duck feed. Okay. <laughs> they get. Nice. Yeah, and sometimes we'll give them little like uh, papaya fruit to see if they want to nibble on something okay, so else. They, they can <laughs> yeah. eat fruit. Yeah. Gosh, you know, I, I need to um, get educated about what animals eat because I'm just, I'm just lost. <laughs> well, I've learned a lot in the last year and yeah. still learning too. What so. about the pigs? What are, what are they eating on a daily basis? Yeah, so they eat um, also a combination of different kinds of grains. Like mm -hmm. um, we buy it at the store. It's like a cob. It has a like barley uh -huh. and oats and they, we put some alfalfa pellets in there as well okay. um, and then actually down to sounds earth sounds very healthy yeah. it sounds like something a vegan could eat they actually on, on, a, uh, on a, a acai bowl or something they, yeah they have a really healthy they have a whole foods plant-based diet <laughs> definitely all grains we uh, could learn a lot yes. from them and mm -hmm. they um down to earth actually donates produce to us oh great that's maybe like a little past its prime maybe they wouldn't be selling uh -huh. it yeah. or maybe the produce from like their juices or uh -huh. things so we get to take that and mm -hmm. feed the pigs produce as well so they get grains Great. and produce awesome. uh, and it sometimes looks like their food it does look like a giant acai bowl they'll be like pitaya yes. and like papaya pears <laughs> and then grains it's uh -huh. They definitely, I think, eat way healthier than I do. <laughs> yeah, well, so, something to be said about the way animals um, eat and they are definitely getting enough protein. <laughs> yes. <laughs> You, you count no to the one's sanctuary. lacking in the protein. <laughs> yes, if you look at them, they're 600 pounds. They're yeah, very strong. Happy and healthy. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. And she, we're going to take a quick break and okay. then come back and uh, talk more about the awesome Aloha Sanctuary and other things you're getting up to on the island here. So stay tuned. Aloha. I'm Keisha King, host of At the Crossroads, where we have conversations that are real and relevant. We have spoken with community leaders from right here locally in Hawaii and all around the world. Won't you join us on thinktechhawaii.com or on YouTube on the Think Tech Hawaii channel. Our conversations are real, relevant, and lots of fun. I'll see you at the crossroads. Aloha. Aloha. My name is Becky Sampson, and I'm the host of It's About Time. On the Think Tech Hawaii, a digital nonprofit organization that's raising public awareness. Join us on Wednesday at 2 p.m., where we talk about real issues. Some of the topics will include entrepreneurship, health, life skills, and growing your business. So, once again, this is Becky Sampson on It's About Time on Wednesday at 2 p.m. on Think Tech Hawaii. Mahalo. Welcome back, everyone, to Lillian's Vegan World, where we talk about everything to do with veganism and the plant-based diet. I have my awesome guest here, Anchi Howitz from Aloha Animal Sanctuary. Thank you again for coming on, Anchi. So awesome you. talking to you. Um, you are vegan, I'm guessing. Yes. I haven't even asked you that. You <laughs> yes, are. I am. Okay. May I ask how long you've been on a plant-based diet yeah, for? It's been 
been about five years now. Okay. Yeah. What What made you step up and um, <laughs> go vegan? Go vegan? Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, I would say about probably about ten years ago, mm -hmm. I just started thinking about it okay. and uh, just wondering. I just found thinking about the ethical issues behind eating animals and if I really needed to, mm -hmm. to be a happy, healthy person. Mm -hmm. uh, so I actually went vegetarian first. Mm -hmm. And I will have to say my husband, Robert, is mm -hmm. the person who uh, pushed me or got me to that place. He actually went vegetarian first okay. after just seeing a chicken on TV one day and making the uh -huh. connection. Yep. And then after I saw him do it, just like a flip of the switch, mm -hmm. uh, it motivated and got me to align my values with my actions. Um, at the time going vegetarian, I didn't really know much about dairy or eggs. Mm -hmm. And so then about, I guess, uh, four years later, um, after finding out more information about yep. those industries, mm -hmm. uh, went vegan. And again, my husband actually went vegan first. And okay. so that it kind of, uh, yeah, helped me push me into that. Interesting. Uh, so that's well. great. So I have I to mean, give him credit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. it's good for him. And uh, it's nice that you're both vegan. So obviously your home is as well. Um, my husband's not vegan, mm -hmm. but our home is. Yeah. So, and that was actually his idea to do that. So he's, he's totally on board with, you know, eating vegan uh, at the home. And then he'll, he'll, you know, eat what he wants outside of the home. But, um, yeah, I mean... You only need to show people some of the documentaries that are coming out and, and hopefully they will make that connection. But there's some really awesome, you know, films that are being put out there. I think yeah. in particular recently, I, this year's big hit, I guess, was Game Changer. Game Changers, yes. I, yes. Hear, I saw it and I loved it. Yeah. And there's just so much uh, buzz about it from yeah. really making an impact. Yeah. 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 So. Well, um, speaking about vegan, um, the vegan lifestyle, I recently went back to my beloved Japan, the city um, in which I spent 30 years of my life. So I'm a vegan chef and cooking instructor, and I did uh, live in this gorgeous place north of Tokyo in the northern um, regions called Sendai. Sendai is uh, one of my favorite places on earth, and the food there is incredible. So I would like I to go. show you this video that I took of all the vegan food that I had there um, during my one week stay. So take a look at it. Yeah. Angie, have you ever been to Japan? I haven't, and I really want to go. And this well, will make me want to go I know. even more. Check out this video. <laughs> this is just Japanese food at its best. Um, Sendai is actually very famous for its food. They oh, wow. have amazing fresh, you know, just vegetables are fantastic, fruit in abundance. It looks beautiful. Yeah. One of my um, Israeli friends there actually opened a, an Israeli restaurant this year, so I did visit there. The, these are dishes that my friends from the Ukraine and Russia made. They veganized everything for me. Wow. Just uh, lots of dips and fresh vegetables, roasted, sautéed, anything you can think of. Gorgeous tempura, Japanese tempura. This was a vegan restaurant that I visited on my, uh, during my stay there. Oh, so Look artistic. at how beautiful. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Um, so this is, uh, you know, you really, you're not missing out on any, anything on a vegan diet. No, every time I travel, I'm so excited to try um, all the rest of vegan restaurants and new places. So. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, are you feeling a bit hungry now? <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> you know, it, it's funny. A lot of people say to vegans, um, you know, as they're eating their burgers or steak, you don't know what you're missing out on. Mm -hmm. And it's like, I know exactly what I'm missing out on. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. Yeah. Because I think, I think that we tend to eat a, a more of a variety of foods than the average person on, say, like a typical American diet. I think we venture out more and therefore we are getting more, you know, nutrients and vitamins and all those, you know, the good things that we need to sustain our bodies. So. That's my answer. Absolutely missing out on nothing. Definitely not. <laughs> and then all the foods like yeah, burgers, tacos, cakes, we can I still eat all those things we too. Do. Exactly. <laughs> Just the we, vegan version. Exactly. We do all of that and we make it better, actually. Yeah. 
Um, let's have a look at another one of your photos, Angie, as we go through. Oh, yeah. oh this is this Kylie, uh, one of our volunteers oh, okay. with um, Eleanor and Haku, who we yes. talked a little bit about before. These are our uh, pretty, our 600 pound big pigs. Amazing. And they're just uh, best friends. So. <laughs> How old are they, roughly? Yeah, so Haku is about three years old now. Wow. And Eleanor, She's probably about 11 to 13. Oh, okay. We're not quite sure exactly uh -huh. yep. how old she is, but uh, so she's a, a bit of a more senior pig uh -huh. at the sanctuary. They, they are adorable. Again, if you're on Facebook or Instagram, do definitely um, follow their pages yeah. because there are you know heaps of just really cute photos that you, <laughs> you can take a look at. Um, let's look at another one. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, so um, this shows, uh, this is one of the activist groups mm -hmm. on the island called Oahu Animal Save. Okay. Um, the Save Movement is an organization that happens, that has chapters all over the world, but we have one here on Oahu. Okay. And we go to uh, slaughterhouses. Mm -hmm. uh, there's actually one slaughterhouse here right now on Oahu and mm -hmm. bear witness to the animals uh, before they are sent to slaughter. So. That is absolutely heartbreaking. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how people do it. Still, still don't make that connection. But yeah, it's definitely yeah, and it's definitely it can be difficult being there. Yes, but we're I'm sure. um, when activists and volunteers mm -hmm. go to bear witness, you're there to um, offer some love yeah. and comfort to the animals mm -hmm. in their final moments. Mm -hmm and also to document their stories and share their stories mm -hmm. so hopefully people do make the connection. Yes, yeah. um, it's amazing what you do. Thank you so much for the work you guys do. I mean, it's hard. It, it, it's hard to do that, I'm sure. Um, but yeah, keep doing it, keep going. It's an yeah. uphill battle, but, you know, we keep fighting it anyway. Yeah, and these are, um, yeah, Oahu Animal Save is a, uh, Great group to be part of, right. and uh, I just want to encourage everyone to be active. You know, being vegan is amazing, mm -hmm. but I do uh, think that we're in such a we're in a pivotal time, and we're faced such dire um, issues in the world mm -hmm. that I think we need everyone's voice uh, to speak up, and for the animals, and for the planet, and for the people. Um, so definitely, and, so well yeah. put, and she yes. And again, you can find information, I'm sure, on the net if you want to get involved in something yeah. like that. Oahu Animal Save, yeah, it's run by amazing organizers, okay. and you can look them up on Instagram, Oahu okay. Animal Save, mm -hmm. to see when their next vigil is, or also on Facebook okay. as well. You can find the group and learn more about mm -hmm. what happens. Great. Yeah. Thank you very much for that information. Let's do another photo. So. Yeah. So this is a very new organization and chapter here on Oahu, mm -hmm. um, Animal Rebellion. And uh, it's actually, this organization started off in the UK, okay. and they're just starting up here um, on the island. But they uh, link the effects of climate change okay. and how that's related to animal mm -hmm. agriculture, because oftentimes that's not talked about enough. Yeah. And so to, you know, strive for ecological you know, justice, we believe that we really need to abolish the animal agriculture mm -hmm. system and uh, go towards a plant-based food system. Definitely. It's all, it's all intertwined, isn't it? Um, animal rebellion, yes, I, I had never heard of that, so yeah, thank they, you for, for mentioning that. And they're a new chapter yeah, here yeah, on the a island. a new chapter. They've um, just had their first, I believe, two events okay. um, in this past uh, mm -hmm. month. And uh, they participate, I think they were demonstrating a, a climate strike at the Capitol. So, okay. um, you know, advocating for policy change mm -hmm. and systemic change. Okay. Yeah. Oh. So. Awesome. So to everyone out there who's doing all of that, you know, power to you. It's, it's fantastic that all of you guys are volunteering, you know, taking out the time to do that. So um, my hat off to you. Let's do another one, Angie. Yeah. Got another photo here. Yeah, so so this, many ways to get involved yes, here. Yes. Um, so this is another activist group on the island, Anonymous for the Voiceless. Um, it is also a global organization with a chapter here uh, uh, in Honolulu. Uh, this uh, group, we show uh, 
Slaughterhouse footage mm -hmm. and other footage in animal agriculture, just standard practice uh -huh. footage from um, that related to animals and how they're used mm -hmm. in our society. Right. Uh, we show these in public spaces, mm -hmm. and then just if people are interested mm -hmm. and want to chat with bystanders walking by, want to chat mm -hmm. with us about what they see, mm -hmm. we will explain to them what they're viewing and really just educating and empowering people to go vegan. Mm -hmm. So, What is the general reaction when these yeah. bystanders you know, do take a look at the footage that you show them? So there are all sorts of reactions. Um, there are people that just walk by and they don't want to see, yeah. you know? Yeah. Um, but I think you'd be surprised. Actually, I think a lot of people are maybe nervous or scared to do this kind of activism because they feel like it might be confrontational and hostile. Mm. But um, it's really on, not though yeah. at all, is it? You guys are not not no. there to you know start cause arguments no, or it, get confrontational. Exactly. So. We really want to talk to people who are interested in talking to yeah. us. So a lot of people really, you'd be surprised how many people really don't know what's going mm -hmm. on in these industries, mm -hmm. and we're allowing this space for them to learn. Yeah. And ho with that knowledge, mm -hmm. hopefully comes and um, the drive for them to make better, more compassionate choices yeah, every de day. Definitely, so. definitely. It all helps. And I mean, people are getting curious. They really yeah. are. You know, now we live in a world now where you know, nothing's hidden. It's all out there in the open. Was it John Lennon that said years and years ago, before all of this, you know, this happened and veganism has you know, become mainstream, but I think it was John Lennon that said something like, if slaughterhouses um, were, were built with glass or made yeah. of glass, we'd all be vegetarian. But it's so true. I mean, you know, you can, you can do this and try and hide from it and, and keep, you know, eating the way you do. But I think there's got to be a time when it just, you do click and you know, it makes more sense to leave them alone and, exactly. and be healthy. There's so much, so much good stuff to eat out there. You know, we're here in gorgeous Honolulu. <laughs> Hawaii and food is abundant here, you know, we've yeah. got, got amazing um, produce here available, lots of vegan substitutes to, um, you know, satisfy your meat cravings, so. Exactly, yeah. and it's, yeah, we're in good times. Definitely, and if we have that choice, mm -hmm. um, personally, to make the peaceful, you know, compassionate choice every yeah. day, why not? If we can be yes. healthy and happy yes. and make that choice, why not do that, Absolutely. right? <laughs> look at us. We look all right. <laughs> yeah. We're not starving. We're not lacking in protein. <laughs> like, yeah. um, it's the funniest thing when, when vegans get asked about you know, their protein. But yeah, we're all good. We're happy. We're healthy. We're, um, yeah, it's all, it's all good on a, you know, delve in, learn more about it, learn more about why so many people are becoming vegan and you might yourself just, uh, you know, wake up one day and decide to give it a try. Definitely, <laughs> yes, I think so. And um, yeah, I encourage everyone <laughs> to do that. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you so much, Angie, for yeah. coming on. It's been a pleasure having you on. Thank you. And uh, see you next year in the new year. We'll definitely have you guys on again. Thank you, everyone, for an awesome year. Happy holidays. Take care. Um, have a wonderful new year and see you in 2020. Aloha.